Hi again guys, so another Gran Turismo 6 tuning video for you today. This time for another one of my favourite cars in the game, the Jaguar XJ13. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So you want your racing soft tyres. Um, as far as suspension, relatively simple setup. Ride height of 80, rounded off the spring rate to 12.25 and 11.40. Uh, I'm not sure if I've increased the dampers. I think I may have, but I'm not sure. But I've got, as you can see, the dampers and anti-roll on 4 anyway. I've increased the camber to 2 because obviously it is a very old car and it doesn't have very much downforce, so you have to rely more on the suspension to give you your handling. Toe angle is neutral, as always, so it doesn't drag its wheels. Very high auto setting in the gearbox, as high as possible. And uh, as far as the final drive, I've set it so that this car goes fast on its own. Uh, now, with this tune... It doesn't go that quick with slipstream, so if you want it to go better with slipstream, you want to lower your final drive. But this tune that I'm doing is just basically for the car on its own, um, without any slipstream. So uh, you want your initial torque low, as always, high acceleration and low braking. Uh, obviously, the only because it's a racing car, the only racing upgrade you can do is the high RPM turbo. And obviously you want to reduce your downforce so it doesn't hold you back on speed. I've got traction control turned off. Um, it's a very light car so you'll have to decide for yourself whether you want it on or not. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I love this car. I think it's awesome. It's got uh, the coolest rear view in the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just... It's a really nice car. Um... Not the kind of car that I'd recommend buying if you plan on winning everything you enter, but for a nice collector's piece and uh, something for a track days, oh, it's it's brilliant. It does handle beautifully. So uh, obviously it doesn't have NOS, unfortunately, because it's a racing car, and uh, which is ironic considering it never raced. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it cruises at 260 on its own, which is pretty respectable for its age. Uh, I'm not sure what it does with slipstream at this at this final drive setting, but I think it only goes up to about 270 with slip. But like I said before, if you want more, you'll have to just uh, lower the final drive a bit. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this car as much as I do. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.